And Booker, you've uh, you've had a have a great platform with with your radio show, but also it was through WWE Backstage, which I'm still mourning the loss of that. Um, we yeah. kind of got to talk about wrestling, but also issues, you know, facing day in many ways. Um, it was there like a memorable moment for you through the whole process, or an interview that you did? I know a lot of people will circle back to a Keith Lee one, or even you taking promo school, taking some celebrities as promo school. But what's kind of one thing you like? What's a memorable moment for you being a part of that project? Oh man, uh, promo school was definitely the best part of uh, you know WWE backstage for me because it was always. On the fly, it was always off the cuff, um, and, it, and that for for me it was great. For my opponent, it wasn't so great. <laughs> but uh, but but I tell you, I'm just working with Renee Young, uh, you know, CM Punk. Um, I, I tell you, we we had a great great chemistry. Ember Moon coming in, um, doing her thing. We had a great chemistry together. And COVID kind of like was a really big reason for everything you know, going going to ride the way it did. But hopefully, you know, to come back, you know, and we'll keep continue to go out there and entertain and bring the fans, uh, you know, what they want to see as far as wrestling goes. But I miss it. I miss it a whole lot. And there again, hopefully we'll, you know, get back in gear pretty soon. Mm-hmm. And, you know, with your students, it's all about uh, branding. And, and I, uh, part of the, a lot of the, about the wrestling business these days is about branding. Um, with you being, you know, both of you running a, a wrestling company, I'm just curious kind of to get your thoughts from the entrepreneur standpoint and having these students and wrestlers, what are kind of your thoughts on, on the WWE stance when it comes to third-party um, businesses and using their likeness and um, kind of them kind of going with that when it comes to, you know, TikTok and all that, that they taking more of an active role in, in controlling that? Oh, one thing about, you know, the business um, and working in the business for, for the last 30 years, it's always been a protocol. Um, we have always had a, a route to, to go um, when it came to stuff like this. Uh, there again, uh, back in my day, we didn't have TikTok. We didn't have, you know, Twitter. We didn't have Cameo or anything like that. So I'm sure this generation is going to have to figure out how they're going to be able to make stuff like that work or um, truly um, go independent and, you know, work for themselves. So it's, it's definitely a touch-and-go situation, something that they're going to have to work out. And my only thing is I'm still trying to figure out what TikTok is. <laughs> <laughs> I always say I, I tick nor talk. When people ask me, hey, are you on TikTok? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm kind of lucky uh, that we did have, uh, you know, this kind of stuff um, and when we were coming up as far as social media goes because the guys definitely have um, a whole lot more to, to deal with than we had to deal with back in our day. Yeah, no doubt. Um, lastly, um, just wanted to get your opinion in the future on um, the reality of wrestling because I talked to Al Snow and he's kind of has this approach where he's kind of like thinking of like a territory system for him where he's kind of building his own sense where he's partnering with other schools and things like that. Well, you know, the next five years or so, you know, when we move past this, hopefully, um, what are kind of your overall plans for the company um, as as things move past all this? You know, our goal is to uh, be the flagship of Texas wrestling. That's what we call ourselves. Um, we want to be able to um, independently run, you know, Texas, Houston, Dallas, San Antonio, Austin, surrounding areas, um, but keep um, Reality of Wrestling a Texas-based uh, company that we can um, just um, filter um, the, the WWE, the uh, AEWs, the New Japans of the world with talent, um, being the biggest AAA of professional wrestling um, in the world. Uh, that's what our goals um, are with um is with reality of wrestling, and, and and I think we're we're on a really really good track. Of course, COVID of course slowed us down a whole lot um, as far as some of our big plans uh, for 2020 um, that we had. But hopefully, 2021 will be a better year, and reality of wrestling will go on to be the biggest thing going in Texas as far as independent wrestling. Love I like it. that. Row on the go. Yeah, row on the go. All right, put that on a shirt. <laughs> there <laughs> you, you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go. Thank you so much uh, for your time, fans. Uh, swing vote held Saturday, October 10th at the aptly named Booker T World Gym Arena um, in Texas City, Texas. Bell time is 8 p.m. It's a free event, which is great right now for everyone that's looking for some free entertainment, and parking will open at 7 o'clock. Um, for more information, you can go on uh, realityofwrestling.com or bewoke.vote. Thank you guys so much for your time.